a jam-packed weekend for sky gazers. Tonight, look out for the longest total lunar eclipse of this century. Meanwhile, Mars will be making its closest approach in 15 years. And then on Sunday, NASA will celebrate its 60th anniversary. Well, to mark the anniversary, NASA has partnered with the U.S. National Symphony Orchestra for a concert with stunning images of the Apollo 11 moon landing set to Claude Debussy's Claire de Lune or Moonlight. 19,000 hours of never-before-heard audio are now available to hear online. And in them, you can hear candid conversations between ground control and space legends Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Well, joining us uh, from London now for more on tonight's spectacular lunar eclipse is Dr. Francisco Diego from the University College uh, London. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Diego, for joining us uh, today. There's a lot it's of a talk pleasure. about uh, the lunar eclipse uh, tonight. Can you tell us what's so special about this? Um, well, we can imagine that the Earth, as it receives the light from the sun, the Earth casts a shadow into space. And that shadow has a diameter, which is about three or four times bigger than the diameter of the Earth at that distance and the, uh, at the, of, of the Moon. Uh, and the Moon will come inside the shadow of the Earth tonight, and it will go across it, as you see in this image that we have here. Now, as it goes across, it can go through the center of the shadow or through one side of the shadow. In this particular occasion, it will go through the center of the shadow, which is just a coincidence, which means that it will uh, go across the diameter of the shadow of the Earth, and it will take a little bit longer than usual. I mean, usually eclipses go not exactly in the center, and that makes this eclipse extremely long, I mean, a bit longer than other eclipses, a few minutes longer, and that's <laughs> the curiosity about this eclipse. Yeah, and this is something that's not, that doesn't happen often. In fact, uh, we have to wait a really long time for the next one. Well, yes, although it is uh, just a little curiosity. I mean, the eclipses last for more than an hour, an hour and a half, an hour and three quarters. So a few minutes more is not exactly a major, a major thing, but it is, it is just a curiosity indeed, in yeah. Yeah, it, in, it is, speaking of uh, curiosity of a lot of people. So what advice could you give to people who do want to see it uh, in its full glory, so to speak? Well, in Europe, you are more lucky. I mean, here in the UK, you only see the last part of the eclipse. As the moon rises, it will be already inside the shadow of the Earth. But from you in Europe, you will see a much uh, longer eclipse. We see most of, most of the eclipse there. What you need to do is to look to the, towards the east uh, at the moon rise, and then uh, it's a naked eye spectacle. It's, 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 it's fantastic. Uh, the best way to observe it is with a pair of binoculars. A pair of binoculars and then very unobstructed view of the sky and a very clear sky, certainly, and you will appreciate the red color of the moon that appears because the atmosphere of the Earth is uh, uh, um, kind of uh, um, uh, sending the, the light from the sun into the moon. And it's, it's like looking at the sunset from the moon. If you were on the moon, you will see the Earth in coming in front of the sun with a kind of red ring around it, which is, will be the, the backlit uh, uh, illumination of the atmosphere of the Earth, which is right. what gives the lunar eclipse this uh, this red color, very very spectacular. 